Welcome back, Wonderlanders. It's so good to see you again, and we're here with another vlog series. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sam. And I'm Chris. And we post mainly about Disney World vacations, and we vlog all of our trips for us to look back and enjoy with you guys. So please like the video and subscribe to see all of our future vlogs as we will have a five day vacation in Disney World. It's finally here. We've been waiting for such a long time for it to come, but it's Very finally here. It's no, it's, it's no longer about how many days, it's about how many hours, so. Yes, and so we're technically like pre-travel day. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be flying out of Raleigh International Airport to MCO Orlando. Our flight's at 7.05 a.m. Early. Early, but. But that's for a reason though. We got yes. a surprise coming up. The reason why we're coming in so early. We yes. have a plan, so. Yes, so right now I think the flight leaves or boards at like 6.40, so we'll have to get there a few hours before. Yeah. That is the plan. We are currently all packed and we are gonna be spending the night at my sister and brother-in-law's because mm -hmm. they live close to the Raleigh airport, so we're bumming off of them. So we don't have to pay for parking <laughs> and then we'll fly out uh, tomorrow morning. So if we don't see you guys for the rest of this pre-travel day, we'll catch you in the morning at about 4.45 a.m. So early. It's fine though. You, you get that Disney energy. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. So for this trip, we're going to be staying at a new resort that we've never stayed at before. Uh, normally we stay at Pop Century, but we're going to be staying at the Caribbean Beach Resort and we're super excited about that. Now we've requested to stay in one of the remodeled Little Mermaid rooms. Yeah. Um, so we're hoping that that actually happens. If not, we'll be okay, mm -hmm. but um, you know, fingers crossed. So that's gonna be a lot of fun staying at that resort. We're gonna be showing you guys that. And the biggest thing for this trip is we're gonna be reviewing the Disney dining plan. It's the first time Chris and yeah. I are trying it. Yeah. So we're so. super excited. And we have the full dining plan because there's yeah. two different ones. You have the quick service dining plan and then you have the Disney dining plan, which is one quick service, one sit down meal, and one snack yeah. per day. Yeah, and that also includes for the one that we have um, a beverage, either non-alcoholic or alcoholic as well. So we're gonna be kind of uh, going through that, seeing if we get our money's worth, yeah. seeing if there's actually value in it to not only um, use it in the future, but for you out there as well to see if it's something that you wanna do. Now, so we will also be going to the Flower and Garden Festival and we're gonna kinda see how that Disney dining plan works with what we're gonna be doing because typically when we go to these festivals, we tend to wanna try a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of a mix of using our actual um, points for that and also some money out of pocket for some other things. So I do know that if you are on the Disney dining plan, you do get a certain amount of snack credits per day and you can use them at any of the Epcot festivals going on. So. We will touch on that a little bit more when we get to Epcot yeah. later in the series. So stay tuned for more information about the Caribbean Beach Resort and the Disney Dining Plan. And the next time we're gonna see you is gonna be like four o'clock in the morning. So Yep, heading to the airport. So uh, we'll see you then. Let's go. Bye. Good morning. Hmm? It's 4.34 a.m. and we're in Clayton, North Carolina on our way to the Raleigh International Airport. And yes, I'm tired. There's Chris right there. He's putting on his shoes. Our lift is here. So let's go get it. security and we're sitting at our gate and boarding starts in about 15 20 minutes and then the plane takes off at 705 so right now it's as you can see behind us it's a little cloudy here in Carolina yeah. there's rain in the forecast for Orlando but it's gone down so we've been watching it so for the past few days um, it's been showing for Wednesday, which is today, around like 80 or 90 percent uh, chance of rain. Now it's down to like 22. Yeah, which so is good. Which is good news. We're watching it. We're prepared. If it does rain, we have a backup plan. But I think my prediction is that it is going to rain, but I don't think it's going to be all day like it said it was. 
And our plan is to, once we land, obviously take a lift or an Uber to the Caribbean beach. And then our plan is to go to Epcot, but that's weather pending. So then tonight, we're trying something new. Because we're staying at the Caribbean Beach Resort, we're gonna be eating at Sebastian's for dinner. I'm excited for that. Yeah, we've never done it. It's really good. Yeah. And it's the first time that I've stayed at a resort that had a restaurant mm -hmm. attached to it. So this is gonna be cool for me. Yeah, Chris, whenever we have gone together, we've always stayed at Pop, Pop. and Pop doesn't have restaurants, it's just a food court. I love Pop. Pop holds a very special place in my heart. It is one of my favorite resorts, but I think it's time to expand our uh, horizons on resorts for sure. I had no influence in that decision at all. <laughs> I'm really tired. I need a nap. I didn't sleep too good last night. Are you going to nap on the plane? I'm going to try to. The whole hour and 45 minute flight? I was asleep by 10.30 and then I woke up at midnight mm -hmm. and then couldn't go back to sleep until about 1 and then I was just tossing and turning until about 3.30. Yeah. Same here. I'm a very light sleeper so. Anywho. Anyways, we'll uh, see you on uh, the other plane. plane. I'm so excited. <laughs> Detroit-based flight deck crew, and most especially your Boston-based flight attendant crew. Thank you for choosing Delta. We look forward to seeing you on board again soon. We made it! Finally. <laughs> Was it like a three-hour delay? Yeah, guys. We gotta fill you in. Let's get to the concourse. We'll have a little chat, shall we? because of weather in Orlando. There was a tornado yes. warning. And everybody was grounded here in Orlando, so there was no flights leaving or coming in. We were supposed to be here at 8.50, but it's fine. And it's almost noon right now. Yeah, I think it's just shy of noon. So, But the good thing is, is we're safe and we made it. And yeah. you know, when this stuff happens, it happens and there's really nothing you can do um yeah not really i mean the weather down here is unpredictable we are in that hurricane tornado season so it's kind of roll with the punches you know yes just thankful we're here yeah i'm i'm <laughs> so excited i'm so tired as well but um yeah. i'm ready to be in the park we're gonna get a uber or a lift to yes. uh the caribbean beach resort yep 
and I think by that time our room will actually be ready. Yeah. So if that's the case, then we're gonna unload into the room and then we're gonna go straight to Epcot for our first surprise. Yay! I'm super excited, so. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. We'll see you soon. Yeah, let's go get our bags. We, we kind of need those. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Bag claim is downstairs, honey. So you lead the way. Oh, down here, yeah. Here we go. Should I race you and do my own escalator? Nah, that's okay. Oh, look! Magic! Ooh, getting on, there we go. All right, let's get our back. We're yeah, here up at uh, Claimage. Claimage. Claimage, I don't think that's the right word, but. Claimage? Mm, no, just rat back. Baggage claim. claim. <laughs> but we can start using that rat claimage. <laughs> Sounds Actually, good. I like that. I like claimage. Oh my god. Well, I think our bag's down there. This one? Yeah. Oh, look, is that oh yeah, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Running to get his wife's suitcase. Oh, we got it! You know what? It's it's. Let, I'm just letting him be his, be a little boy. She said, "You better not run. Or you're gonna get kick, get kicked out, Chris." Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You guys have a great time. Thank Thanks you. So much. <laughs> Down to your room, that's a half a mile away. That's about a nine, 10 minute walk. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, if you want to go out front, if you have an Instacart, you said, yeah. or something, uh, you can go out front and see the bell stamp. They can take you, luggage, Instacart. Oh, nice. Hand deliver you down there. They sell, it's a free service, but they do work on gratuities, okay? Okay. okay. All right, or we sit just like this, just so you know, we're here. The lake is behind me, so you're that way. Oh, gotcha. okay. If you were to walk, you would walk straight out to the lake, and yeah, and then just hang it left. And like I said, that's gonna be about a 10 minute past your own area there, all the way okay. down to building 39. Sounds all right, like a plan. With that said, you're here, we're checked in, everything's good. Are we celebrating anything while we're here? Just no, just happy to be just here. Happy to be here. All right, <laughs> all right, so I would head out front, let okay. them know you're here, awesome. okay. let them know you got a ready room, and they you just need assistance, and they can. Let them know you got an Instacart out there. They should be able to snag okay. that and take you guys luggage, food, everything down awesome. your room. Well, thank you very much, Jen. It's a right, pleasure. Enjoy it. Thank you. It says forty six eighty four when we charged. So Chris just got a resort mugs, and from the receipt here, it shows a zero balance. He didn't have to pay anything, and on the bottom it says forty six dollars and eighty four cents. And that shows the value of the two beautiful mugs <laughs> that he just got. Guess which one's mine? The pink one. No, just kidding. The pink one's mine. Yes. So when you're on the Disney dining plan, they do give you two free refillable mugs to use for your vacation. So obviously that was one of the must, must do's that we had yeah. to get done. So. They have different colors too. So they have pink. Uh, like a teal, orange, and yeah. a green one that's uh, the lid's kind of like see through, like clear. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we need these. And I think right now all the resorts have the same style. Yeah, the same style, like that Mickey and Minnie's runaway yeah. railroad type of vibes, that artwork. Here, let me, uh, let me get a close up here. Cute. Nice. So, we finally made it. We're on the what do you guys call this the service? The shuttle service, bellhop service? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's bell bellhop service. service. Yeah, okay, bell, bell service, service. So okay. You, so when you guys come to the Caribbean Beach Resort, it's a huge property. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it can take about a 10 minute walk to get from, you know, one side of it to the other. 
So when you check in and you have a lot of bags and you realize you're like how we are in Trinidad, they offer a service. You just go to the Bell Services and there's a van and they'll load up all your stuff. Mm -hmm. You can also do Instacart too. So you can get an Instacart delivered to the resort and then the Bell, um, Bell Service will come and pick up your groceries with you as well and mm -hmm. take you to your room and deliver for you. So And the shuttle's free, complimentary. Free. Well, you have to make sure to tip your bellhops because they work really hard, especially when it's hot outside. So make yeah, sure. Yeah, we got lucky. It's overcast and, uh, right sorry, now. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, so, you're fine. Uh, All right, let's go see our room. So are you excited to... Right now we're trying to find a room. My shoes are squeaky, sorry. Look how beautiful it is here. I mean, look at that. Look at this, everyone. How cool is this? Our room, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but our room overlooks the Skyliner. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, right here i don't know if you can see the gondolas going by but it is so beautiful all right guys we got our room you ready to see it and uh i think you mentioned this it's called the under the sea room yeah it's not called it's not called the little mermaid room it's uh they they call them um under the sea under rooms the sea. so it's well, little mermaid see, <laughs> see what i did there oh another one She's uh, she's a funny one. Come on in. Wow. So we are in Trinidad at the Caribbean Beach Resort. We have a fifth sleeper room. And the reason why it's called a fifth sleeper is because this is a pull down Murphy bed, as well as this little guy pulls down if I can do it oh lord oh my god how cute is that so it's a little little cot so if you have like a little I I would say you know little one maybe middle school or under or if you're really short you could probably fit on that Chris and I Chris definitely can't fit on that he's like 6'2 but once you put it up you got this adorable little bench and some storage bins and as you guys can see, it does have a queen bed. Uh, like I said, the Murphy bed, the couch. It does come with the couch, a little coffee table, which is adorable. And then, you know, your standard nightstand. You have the, hey, Disney. Let's start the magic. It's going to do its thing. Hey, Disney. Stop. You also have a queen size bed. I do believe the queen size are standard. You have to request a king uh, size if you would like to. I know that they have them here. And I wanna point out this cute little detail because I'm a big reader and they have these cute little reading lamps. So that's really cool. Then I'm gonna pan over here and we do have a dresser, uh, a couple of drawers beautiful huge tv which is nice looks like you get you know generic coffee maker in here and yep your fridge is going to be down here a little mini fridge so that's pretty standard in all of the rooms so yeah got beautiful closet i really can't get the full look of it on the vlog because i can't really zoom out on my camera but it's really nice. It's like a little little closet area. Hello. Big mirror. Double vanity. Beautiful mirror. Lots of storage down here. The tile on the flooring is gorgeous. And then you got your standard... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Just relaxing? It's a Chris. It's a Chris in a tub. Well, and he, okay, well, you know what? Chris is 6'2", and it looks like he, uh... <laughs> Ish. I mean, if I do that, it's not too bad. Okay. I'm not, I'm not really a bath kind of guy. 
you know, you just kind of sitting in your own dirty water. But it's nice to have a soak. Pop doesn't have yeah. these anymore. Pop just has those, um, what, walk-in showers. Same type of style door, yeah. but it's nice to have a tub. I'm not going to lie. That was one of the things Wait. I miss at Pop. But, oh, yeah. They, mm -hmm. they don't have tubs anymore. Yeah. See, I prefer the walk-in. Right. Oh, you do? Well, yeah. Well, at least it, when we're on, like, vacation. Yeah. Because for two reasons. One, I mean, who takes a... I mean, I don't know. We don't take baths on vacation. I'm going to take one, soak my feet. Are you kidding me after a day at the parks? Okay, I stand corrected. Yeah. But I, I just like to be able to walk in, but... I mean, I don't, I don't really care. I've also been known to accidentally like hit my foot on this coming out. And, <laughs> silly. User error. It's Anyhow, all right. Well, we'll let Chris soak in his fake bath here. Bass but yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, the mirror. I love this mirror. I want to take this home with us. But yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. How do you like the room so far? Bathtub, Chris. I think it's awesome. Look at that. Shimmy on out of here. I think this is definitely an upgrade. Mm -hmm. So for all of you out there that have been following us, you know that we primarily have stayed at Pop Century for all of our trips. And so now that we want to get a little bit more serious about this, we wanted to, you know, start exploring. So this was the first one that we wanted to do and it definitely is an upgrade for sure and i'm super excited well you are excited too that the fact that we requested the under the sea room mm -hmm. and we were able to get it so yeah i mean like i said chris is 6'2 and he's comfortable i mean the ceiling you want to see you want to see my bed so i know i already showed him that this is where i sleep at. go ahead and lay on it i want to see this is where samantha makes me sleep on oh vacations. stop it samantha doesn't make him do anything he doesn't want to do yeah, so. I mean, if I really wanted to. If you had to, you could. I could, I, I could totally like. But you're not, no, you don't want to. Nor oh, no, I definitely don't want to. <laughs> but just saying, I'm six foot two, and like in a pinch, I could sleep on this. I wouldn't have the best of times, but how do I look? Strike the pose. Wonderful. Like no, the no, Disney but, husband you are. But all jokes aside, this is. A really nice room. I like that we get a couch. Um, that's also becomes the pull down bed. We have an absolutely gorgeous view of the Skyliner from our room. We are on the bottom floor, but that's not that big of a deal. But I like prefer the bottom yeah. floor. It was easy to bring stuff in. Yeah, for sure. Um, because there are no elevators at this resort because it's only two floors. A lot bigger space too than Pop Century. Pop mm -hmm. Century's room's a little bit smaller than this. And the bathroom is gorgeous. The, the double vanity. I like can't wait to get ready tomorrow. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> the color scheming is nice. Mm -hmm. And I like that it's not like Little Mermaid in your face. Did you show them there's a mural behind the pull down? Yeah, bed. can we pull down that yeah. bed? You're yeah, gonna yeah, have yeah. to move this coffee table. Do you have do you have to move? I don't think you have to move. Alright, we'll go ahead and try. We'll see. Yeah, so it kind of oh, okay. so I guess you do have it's to move okay, the coffee though. table. Yeah. But that's fine. But look at that. Yeah. Then you have another another mural. Flounder! Flounder! Oh, yeah, right. there he is! Flounder. How cute! And then, and then I think the guy on the top left, he was the one that was playing the saxophone? Mm-hmm. Or, or was he the one that had the, the teeth that were drums? I don't remember. That was a good scene in that movie, though. Chris, go ahead and turn on that light. You see, there's a little light switch. And, fun fact for all you Wonderlanders out there, The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie. And favorite Disney princess after she wasn't a fish. Not when she was a fish. Half oh my fish. god. Anyways. Ta-da! This is nice. I this is beautiful. Yeah, so if you're a family of five, you know, you have three little ones, or even if you have four little ones, you know, you can put two can on the little cot and two on the pull-down the pull I mean, Murphy. You could easily fit 
two people, two full grown adults yeah. here, two full grown adults here, yeah. and a child right there. Or if Samantha gets mad at me, then full grown adult <laughs> over there. I definitely think this is an upgrade for us, for sure. We also got a you know really good deal on this. Um, yeah, let's let's talk about that for a second here. Yeah. Of so. So speaking of pricing, we wanted to be transparent and share that information with you guys because if you are looking to stay at the Caribbean Beach Resort, it's always nice to kind of know what you're looking at. Now, when we booked this reservation, we actually booked it in February. So it's been about a couple months now since we booked it. And at the time of booking, Disney World had a stay longer, save more discount. Um, Disney discounts always they're they're ever changing based on the type of resort you're booking so all said and done with a three-day park hopper ticket the disney dining plan not the quick service the full disney dining plan and our stay at caribbean beach with a fifth sleeper room it was two thousand seven hundred seventy five dollars and fifty four cents now chris and i didn't pay that because after uh, we booked, we decided to become pass holders! <laughs> Woo! We are officially yeah. Disney World <laughs> pass holders. And I'm telling you, I never thought this day would come because I was always just like, I grumble, 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 I don't wanna. So, spoiler alert, we are pass holders. And yes. part of the reason why we're doing this trip on top of showing y'all Caribbean Beach Resort, going over the Disney Dining Plan, which we'll dive deeper into later on. But we needed to pick up our passes. So for any of you out there who don't know exactly how it works, you can purchase a Disney World Pass Holder Pass, so to say, at any point of the year. You can call customer service, you can go online, you can do that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't kick in until you go to the park. You also have to go to the park to pick up your passes. So, we come full circle back around. We're pass holders! <laughs> Woo! Baby, we get to go as much as we want. Well, within a 365 calendar year, I so. Mean, yeah, we already got future trips yeah. in the works, so it's all good, but shh. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah. So, anywho. Uh, yeah, just an excuse to come and enjoy the Flower and Garden Festival too in May. And May is a nice time and we uh, took a lift into Disney World. We were talking to the lift driver and he said, you guys hit it right on the nail. We're here May 15th on a Wednesday. We missed spring break. We missed the cheerleader competition that Disney hosts. Yeah, he was saying that the, the yeah. cheerleaders left not too long ago and they're here mm -hmm. for like three or four weeks. Yes. And then school, so this is a good bit of information not only for us but anyone who is thinking about coming to Disney World uh, towards the end of May school gets out the last week of May so if you guys are thinking about coming uh, either towards the end of May or maybe the beginning of August kind of keep that in the back of your mind school is gonna initially be out so you might see yeah. busier times and things like that but we, we lucked out we came out at a great time Yeah, we're super excited mm -hmm and lucked out with the under the sea room. I really like it. I think Chris I'm and I are so gonna happy. love it here. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah. So it is 1.42 now. We've been on property for just about an hour. So yeah. Chris and I are really hungry. Yeah. So I think- Plans changed. We, we had yeah. this whole day planned out of being <laughs> delayed with our flight for three hours. Kind of changed all that up a little bit. The plan is to chill a little bit. We'll show you guys the resort in a little bit. Oh yeah. And then, like Chris said, we have an early dinner reservation, 4.30, so. I'm kinda hungry. Hang in there. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. <laughs> so please excuse me for not having my normal accessory, AKA a beer, but I needed some energy before I do that. <laughs> All right, guys. Isn't this so beautiful? Look at the, look at the top of the buildings. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah. They're beautiful. Now I will admit Pop Century is a really cool resort, but when we stay there, there are times where you kind of feel you're like at a hotel, which is fine. I don't really get that vibe here. This is giving resort vibes. Yeah, I definitely feel more of being somewhere else besides, you know, just a Disney hotel. I agree. 
I agree. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, this is it's an upgrade. <laughs> I guess now it's just upgrade after upgrade, right? We yeah, just gotta keep that's how it works. It, and then eventually we'll just, you know, be staying at a suite in the Grand Floridian. <laughs> that's how that works. Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> wow, look at this view. We are blessed right now. Um, it's overcast and it's like, it is humid, but we're from North Carolina, so we're kind of used to the humidity. So it's really not that bad. But yeah, look at this little pond, lake, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. There's got to be a name for it. Oh, look, here's a little map. Yeah, here's your so little map. We are basically, oh, look, I don't even have to point. It says it right there. We are here. Right on the pineapple, the left lower yep. corner. And we're going to walk to the Spy Glass Grill. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, all right, let's go over there, guys. relaxing are we just a little bit I should have brought my sunglasses though yeah I can't open my eyes right now <laughs> Chris has the right idea oh there's another hammock over there mm -hmm. nice they're a little low to the ground yeah it looks low to the ground so it looks like we got a little pool here yeah let's walk over honey let's let's take a little a little gander as uh, Adam and Gary would say, a little moo moo charu. <laughs> a little moo moo charu. I'll show you guys the pool as long as no one's in it. Yeah, there's people swimming, so let me just show you like right over here. Here we go. Cute little shot. It's very quiet. We are at the grill here. And it looks like they have, have a bunch of stuff. Cheeseburgers, Cuban, turkey breast, chicken strips, mojo pork tacos. They have a yuca bowl. We totally skipped over the impossible burger. Oh, well, yeah. There's a reason for that. And then over here we have kids' meals. Oh, and then it just oh cocktails. Ooh, Chris, I know one of those. Ooh, the Trinidad Yuca Bowls sounds delicious. Alright. All right, guys, let's figure out what we're gonna get. All right, Wonderlanders, we're at our first stop of the day for some food, uh, Spy Glass Grill, and we went ahead and got the Trinidad Yucca Bowl. Now, this is a vegan option. Uh, we may or may not have known that going in. We just saw chorizo and went and, you know, we went for it. I just saw a Yucca Bowl. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I want well, that. We're not a po I mean, like, we, we like eating vegan stuff, so. But it comes with uh, basically yuca fries, plant based chorizo, pico de gallo, black beans, and uh, key lime creme. Yeah. So we're about to dive in. 1579. Yep. And so this is also going to be going on our dining plan. So we use a quick service credit for an alcoholic beverage for me and the bowl. the bowl so so far right now first dining credit used and it's gonna be worth it so it was worth a value of 29 dollars yeah. yeah so, so not bad yeah let's dive in you want to take the first bite yeah go ahead. and we like yuca I, I i'm a big fan I know I don't look like it, but I'm half Puerto Rican, so I grew up eating this stuff. And I introduced it to Samantha, who's never had it before she met me, and she's fallen in love. That's really good. Yeah. If you don't know what yuca is, basically think of like like a potato, like a starchier potato. I think that's why I like it so much, is because it's very potato-y. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's a it's a tuber, grows on the ground. It's really good. Now I will say. We are extremely tired, and I probably could have asked if they could have used real cheese on this because I could, I could taste the vegan cheese. But that's fine. It, but it's it, good. It's, that's completely okay. We didn't know, mm -hmm. but again, we don't shy away from vegan food. All right, I want to try some of this. It looks good. It smells great. Mm. <clears throat> so, 
I like the yuca. The yuca is like the heavy hitter for me, and it's like fried perfectly. I think it's delicious. I think it's really good. All right, I want to taste the chorizo on its own. All right, so surprisingly, it does taste like sausage. Really? Oh, let me just. But it doesn't taste like chorizo. It tastes like sausage. It almost tastes like um, breakfast sausage. Mm -hmm. And the texture's identical to. It tastes just like breakfast sausage. Yeah. Not bad. This is pretty good. Would you get this again? Yeah. Yeah, I'd get it again. What would you rate it? Out of 10? Yeah. So, like, once the worst, 10 the best? Yeah. I'd give it a 7. The reason being is because I want. I just want real cheese. I'm a cheese girl. And I want more meat or the impossible meat. You know what I mean? Like this is, I, it's very black bean heavy, which I get is a vegan option. Mm -hmm. But I want more meat. More meat and real cheese. Then it'll get a nine or a 10 from me. What about you? I'd say like a six. Yeah. Only because the sauce is just, it tastes like it belongs in like a breakfast burrito or something. I was, I was just thinking that, yeah. It just tastes like, breakfast sausage. Let's enjoy the rest of us and uh, I think we're gonna go explore a little bit more of the resort. So. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Oh, Cheers. Right, All right, so now that we're done with the Yuka Bowl, which was rather delicious, mm -hmm. we're gonna head over to Old Port Royale, mm -hmm. which is basically the main building where they have another quick service uh, restaurant there and a little gift shop and basically the, the front lobby. So we're gonna go over there and kinda check that out a little bit more and kinda go from there. So let's go ahead and do that. There it is. The main Skyliner hub. I'm so excited y'all, this is so cool. And it's just absolutely beautiful. We're in Disney, honey. <laughs> Disney does a really good job of just theming and making you feel like you're somewhere else, you know. This is beautiful. It just makes you feel like you're on an island somewhere. I'm like on island time. I'm not rushing to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it is really nice. That's another thing, you know, everyone out there should remember. Take your time. Don't rush anything. I know Disney can be overwhelming at times, but take it slow. Take it all in. So on our way, we are passing Barbados. This is another neighborhood in the Caribbean Beach Resort. And then I believe Port, Old Port Royale is going to be the next stop and in the distance that brown looking building is the main pool all right we're in the little town center wow this is really nice i, I bet this is really pretty like at night i was <laughs> just about to say that I, like you took the words right out of my mouth all right, we're gonna head to the right. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my wish. God. Sure, I'll make a wish. Do you want a penny, a dime, or a nickel? A penny. Penny? I'm gonna be a big baller and do a dime. All right, come on, let's go. Woo! I don't know where it went. It went on the Perfect. bottom purple. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, and the pineapple on top. How cute is that? That is cute. Nice. And then this is the back way to get into the lobby. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, let's show them the lobby. Move on in. When we, when we came in, it was a little chaotic. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. So, 
the smell when you come in here is divine. When you go to Pop, I think All Stars the same way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have like a smell. Mm -hmm. So I think they do that to the value and the luxury resort. No, not the value, the... Um, moderate. The moderate, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think they do that for the moderate and the luxury resorts, right? They yeah. Have this, oh, this smells great. Yeah. And Chris is... His back is turned to the reception area, so you'll come in here, check in. This is where we were earlier. Obviously, plenty of seating areas so if you're gonna wait for your lift or your bus or whatever have you. And then to the left-hand side, this is gonna be the quick service area. Um, basically, I'm gonna walk over here. And earlier where we got our mugs, there's a little kiosk. So unlike Pop, it's not a food court. You actually have to, um, the Central Town Market, here we go. There's a huge menu up here. Uh, I see sandwiches, entrees, cheeseburger, Cuban sandwich, impossible burger, turkey sandwich. Quick little overview of it. Also have a grab and go station. Chris, let's go to the grab and go real quick. Look at this, this looks really good. I don't know how to pronounce this. this. Pork seasoning with noodles. I probably butchered that, but that looks really good. Citrus roasted pork with lo mein noodles, onions, peppers, chilies, and a ginger butter sauce. And they're celebrating the Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month at Disney. How cool is that? So we're gonna walk on over. This is the grab and go section. Oh, this is adorable. I don't think anybody's in here. Sweet, perfect. So grab and go pizzas, chips, cereal, ice cream bars, have a little bakery case. Nice. Salads, fruit, to-go sandwiches. So if you're by the pool, you can come over here, grab some good stuff. Got some good stuff. Mini Mickey cupcakes. Tropical Paradise cheesecake. Key lime tart. Yeah. Some good stuff. Milk, apple juice, water, Powerade. I mean, yeah, they got a lot over here. So, and then the last case also has your beers. And last but not least, you have the Calypso Trading Post, which is their gift shop. Looks like Chris is checking out something there. So, looking at the time, we realize we don't have that much time till dinner. So, we're gonna put a pause on our shopping spree, head back to the room, shower, do what we need to do, and then go to Sebastian. So, and then I have to, don't forget, I have to get our mm -hmm. Instacart. And so, we ordered alcohol mm -hmm. some beer and some other stuff and whenever you do that you need to be there to sign for the delivery mm -hmm. because of the alcoholic beverages you basically have to say you're overage so so we're gonna head back to the room just so that way we can like take a shower and relax like do Samantha what we said. need to do so so okay well, we'll... we got tired though. you I know, look so, so tired. tired i know so tired. guys i know bear but with we're, us we're about to go in the, we're about to eat dinner and go into the <laughs> parks i'll tell you what tonight we're gonna sleep like babies yes so like little fishes ha, get it under the sea room <laughs> oh my god who has the best puns me or chris put it in the comments <laughs> okay anyway all right gotta go we're back yes we are it's just shy of 4 30. Yep. we're still waiting on our instacart yeah well actually we got it from target delivery oh so it was supposed to be here between three and four. Mm -hmm. That's not the case, which is fine. We yeah. have a dinner reservation at Sebastian's, which is what we're walking to. Yes. And it's right there in the front. Mm -hmm. So if it comes while we're having dinner, I have no problem just getting up real quick, yeah. signing for it. And then I believe Bell Service can either hold it for us or actually take it to our room and deliver it. That's what the front desk told us. So. so, either way, we win on that situation. Yep. But we had to get ready. As you see, we changed. Yeah, it took a quick shower. We were yeah. just like, Ugh, we need well, to get we that. We've been in the same clothes since like three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, get those airport germs off. Yeah, so. Yeah. We feel good. Feel a lot better. Yeah. We probably look a lot better too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know I can't wait to go to sleep, but we still have food to eat and some drinks to drink. And some rides to ride because after dinner, we're gonna go straight into Epcot. Yes. And we're going to 
you know, gallivant around there. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited for Sebastian? I'm very excited yeah, for Sebastian. Yeah, me too. The food looks good. It's a family style, Latin inspired yep. menu. So obviously we're taking you guys along with us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm ready to eat. I'm yeah. ready to actually have like a nice, the yuca bowl was nice, but was. I want to sit down and have a full meal. Yeah, me too. And get that experience and use our dining plan credits, which we will cover, I promise guys. Let's get on to Sebastian's and we'll see you guys when we get over there. Here we go, Sebastian's Bistro. Oh, and it's right next to the oh, yeah, Banana Cabana. Awesome. All right, well our table is ready. Oh, <laughs> very lovely, honey. process we sat down ordered our drinks all within i don't know three minutes not even yeah that's one thing i love about this yeah. is the fact that they give so much attention to detail uh, that's, yeah. that's what i love about this one as soon as we sat down within a minute there was a server so so can you go ahead and tell the camera uh, unfortunately we missed the whole server's information it just happened so quick. So Chris, do you remember what she said? Yeah, so I don't remember exactly. We'll kind of go over more as we get the food. But essentially, it starts out with ro dinner rolls and they serve it with a guava uh, mm -hmm. like jelly or jam and a butter. And it also comes with a salad. I don't remember what she said the salad was. And then it starts going into the protein. So there's a, a marinated flank steak, uh, chicken, and was there a fish? Or was it just steak in? I can't remember. I think it was a fish. Yeah. It happened very quick. It did. Um, <laughs> and we, we ill prepared. We didn't do um, enough research on the menu beforehand. But when the food comes, we'll show you and talk about it. Now it is family style, so if you want more of whatever items that it is, all you have to do is ask and we'll bring you more. And the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is the dessert, the, mm -hmm. the bread pudding that they have. So, super excited. And we went ahead and ordered drinks. I got a Yingling uh, beer. And Samantha, what did you get? So, I got a pineapple mule, but instead of the whiskey that normally comes in, I got vodka because I'm a vodka drinker. And you guys will probably know that from the last series. So, another thing to point out is on the Disney dining plan, you do get an alcoholic beverage with the plan. And she said basically everything's covered. Like, we don't have to pay out of pocket for anything extra unless we were to add the enhancements to the menu, which was a coconut shrimp. I forget. She just said it so fast. Yeah, and there's one other enhancement to the menu. I'll either put it at the bottom of the screen or insert a clip of the menu next. Um, however, we're not going to do either of those. We really want to keep this series true to the dining plan and what you get. So, but yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, the ambiance is really nice. It's really nice it's in here. Gorgeous. We have the view, this view of the skyline and over the water. You can't beat that. Yeah, focus in here, guys. You can see outside the window just barely. But yeah, so we'll catch it when our apps get here. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. What do you want to try first? I'm going to try a roll. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try the little... Um, That's the Parmesan crisp. The Parmesan crisp, Here, yeah. give me one of his ears. We'll try it together. Oh, no! Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers to our Cheers. first dinner. Mmm! I like it. It's very parmesan -y. It's like a really thin... Like biscuit. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try this roll. Cheers. Mm. All right, so that 
is a guava onion jam, and it is delightful. The rolls are nice, very soft, very warm. I'm, I'm happy. They remind me of yeast rolls. Mm -hmm. yeah, Sebastian's roll with the honey butter. That's really good. It's mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very lemony. Mm, yeah. It's like citrus. Alright, we just got our drinks. You can't see Chris, but here we go. Ready? Cheers, honey. Cheers. Cheers, Wonderlanders. It's good. Is it good? It's good. Alright guys, I'm gonna go in with or for the salad. Mm. It is a very light salad. The citrus dressing is perfect. Like if you're if you're not into heavy dressings like ranch or Thousand Island or blue cheese, and you really want like a nice delicate balance to your salad, I think this is perfect. I think it complements it really well. The mandarins are actually my favorite part. And I tend to not like mandarins and salads, so I think this is good. What about you, Chris? Do you, um, you like it? I'm not a big fan of the salad. Oh no, why? Maybe it's just like the section of the salad that I pulled from, but mm. it's not really dressed. Like, so it's very lightly dressed in the key lime vinaigrette. It's a personal preference. I like my salads to be just a little bit wetter. Altogether, it's not bad. I, I wouldn't say it's bad. I bet you can ask her for more dressing. I'm pretty sure I could, but I just want to just give my opinion just based off of how it comes. Um, so again, don't let that deter you from wanting to try this. It's still very tasty. I just prefer my salads to basically be drenched in salad dressing. All right, everyone, the food is finally here and it looks so good. So let's run you through real quick what we have. So right here we have uh, cilantro lime rice. And then right behind that we have curried vegetables. And behind that we have charred broccolini. And then over here we have an oven roasted citrus chicken, slow cooked mojo pork with the mango sambal sauce, grilled chili rub beef with the mojito relish, and then they have a sustainable baked fish with the Veracruz sauce, but look how good all of this looks. It smells good. It does smell good. All right, let's dig in. I am so full. I can't eat anymore because I also need to make space for dessert. So I'm excited for that bread pudding, but this was a pretty good meal. Well, I mean, what do you think? I was pleasantly surprised with everything. I'm actually still finishing up some of the pork. That was my absolute favorite. The pork and the mango sambal had like a citrusy like twang to it. I loved it. But overall, I'm in a really great experience. Chris and I did notice that we had, and we'll talk about this a little bit more, but we noticed there was a little lag between our salad and bread and the main course. However, Everything came out yeah, hot, yeah. it came out fresh, yeah. and everything tasted really good. I did not try the curry vegetables because I'm not really a big curry fan, but other than that, I mean, everything tasted really good. Yeah, I, I would agree with you with the pork, the mojo marinated pork. That's my favorite. That was really good. I think my favorite is going to have to be the uh, grilled chili rub uh, flank steak. Yeah. yeah, I think overall this was a hit. I would come back here again. I would also recommend this place as well. The ambiance is gorgeous. Our views are beautiful. I mean, overlooking the Skyliner on the other side of the resort. So I'm happy. Samantha's happy. Uh, we think if you come here as well, I think you'll leave happy as well. We have dessert coming. And that's uh, some type of uh, like bread pudding with ice cream. When that comes, we'll show you all that. And we'll kind of go from there. Dessert has arrived. All right, honey. Go ahead and do, so the, do honors. the honors. Yeah. The old caramel pool. Caramel. Pinky's out. Beautiful. Oh, there's one thing I know how to do. It's drizzle. A plus. Oh my god, he did everything. 
Oh my god, Chris. Chris! I'm just pouring what they gave me. I'm just drizzling. All right, I'm gonna go in for the first bite. Should I ask for more caramel? Oh my god, no. Wow. Now, the biggest question is, is it better than Ohana? Ooh, that's tough. I'm gonna say it's equally as good. Okay. Texture-wise is there. It almost tastes identical to it. Yeah. The only difference is the, the coconut. A lot of people say that it's it's very similar to it. Now, I, I'm gonna have a little bit. I am not a big fan of coconut, so I asked our wonderful server, Laura, to bring me the gluten-free dessert, which is a chocolate brownie, and it has vanilla ice cream on it as well. So, I'm gonna try say, that too. I would say, this is literally Ohana bread pudding with coconut. Okay. It tastes exactly the same, but with coconut. Nice. All right. Well, let's enjoy, and then we'll catch you guys for our after dinner review. All right. We are finally done with Sebastian's Bistro. Yes. And I am full, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you are I'm too. Full. <laughs> wow. What a meal. Yeah. Um, not like a showstopper of a meal, right? You're not gonna come here and get wowed. Above average. Yeah. I would say. Definitely, overall rating. definitely worth the value. Yeah. And again, I would recommend anyone who's staying at this resort to come and check out the restaurant. I wouldn't go out of yeah. my way or recommend anyone to go out of their way if they're not staying at this resort to come eat here. But since we're here, you know, went in Disney. It was so, the perfect excuse to go to this restaurant. If you're staying at Caribbean Beach, by all means, check out Sebastian's. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to talk about that bread pudding. I think it is identical to the Ohana bread pudding. Mm -hmm. the only difference is they add coconut to it. Yeah. The caramel sauce tasted the same. The texture with the pineapple. I, I literally think it's like the same recipe. They just add coconut to it. Yeah. It I think was. So too. Yeah. Honestly, that was my favorite part of the entire meal. So as you guys saw, you get a, a you know a large selection of different things. My favorite was the grilled flank steak, followed by the mojo pork. Mm -hmm. And I think yours first was the mojo pork. The right? pork and the mango salsa yeah. on it was like. Perfect. Very good. So with that being said, we enjoyed our meal. We're very full. Yes. And now we are going to finally go finally. to Epcot to pick up our passes, our <laughs> annual passes. Let's get on the Skyliner. Yeah, I really want to get going yeah. and uh, get our passes. Yep. So we'll see you in Epcot next. Yeah, let's go. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort. If you're just joining us, we are on our way to Epcot. All right, hubby, are you ready to I've get been ready. our annual passes? Oh, we have to go through security. Yeah. I forgot. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold that thought. And from let it be known that from this day forward up until a year from today's date, this annual pass shall belong to you. Samantha. Woo! <laughs> All right, your turn. It's my turn. It shall also be known as of today's date for exactly one year from today. This annual pass belongs to Chris, who formerly goes by Chris Thank you Woo! very much, Paul. Woo! Look at that. We did it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, it was Paul. A pleasure. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Thank yes, you, yes, sir. sir. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We did it. How cool is that? It's very fun. Well, I feel like, do we, does this mean we like own the parks now? No, no. unfortunately not. I tried. <laughs> but we do own a piece of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> expensive, heaven's expensive. <laughs> All right, let's go use it. Here we go, first time. Thank you, William. <laughs> Thank you. All right, welcome to Epcot, guys. Yeah, Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. 
<laughs> Are you pass orders? Yes, we just, just came today. one today. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, go to the creation shop. That's our biggest store. You okay. Can, you can get a magnet. Oh yeah, the stitch magnet. The stitch one. Yeah. That's what oh, we can still do it today. Yeah. So pe perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to get mine out too. <laughs> Mom, Dad, we did it. <laughs> I just feel the hole in my pocket is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. When I mean by pocket, I mean my wallet. So. Well, the wallet already had a hole in it. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Let's go enjoy this. And Wonderlanders, yes, that means more vlogs. Oh yeah, yep. Plenty of vlogs. So the agenda is to completely bypass the flower and garden because we're saving that for tomorrow. So tune into our next vlog because we are going to cover flower and garden in its entirety or as much as we possibly can uh, tonight we are going to hit one or two lightning lanes to use that genie plus and then the creation shots for a magnet so I think I'd like to do that tonight yeah, definitely get the stitch magnet and then mosey on out this is a quick like two hours the sole purpose was to get our passes and but we're here we got it we can't just come here and get our passes and not go in yeah it's like you know, you get your annual your pass and now you gotta celebrate a little bit. All right, babe. Do you feel like you're on vacation now? Yes. <laughs> Are you happy to be in Epcot, even if it is only for a few hours? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just really wish I had some sunglasses. <laughs> Sun, go away. My uh, balls are hurting. <laughs> it is really sunny out here. But it's beautiful. Maybe we can ride um, Figment? Figment. Yeah, for sure. So we had to see our favorite character, at least mine. This Pigment. is this is the first ride yeah. that we will be annual pass holders, and this is what we decide to do because it's only right to pay homage to uh, Pigment. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. We know what that means. That's a walk on. <laughs> oh, shoulder buddy. We oh. Have to find a Pigment shoulder buddy. Okay. See how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <coughs> smell, touch, hoochie hoochie go, and taste. <sighs> taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. You are not to interfere with the tour. What? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Imagination works best when it's set free. So, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! They got me! They got me! <laughs> What did you find? I've been trying to get this for years. And you finally found him. He's coming home. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Now, 
this is a coveted moment because Figment was our first ride as annual pass holders. Figment is also going to be the first annual pass holder merchandise discount purchase that we're about to make. Wow. This, this is, is a, big. This is a big thing. Big. I think Figment now has a very special place in my heart. Mine too. And fun fact, when I was growing up, I had a little plush Figment and he was like my best friend. Yeah. I loved him. So yeah, we've been waiting for a long time. It's and come full circle. When they finally came out with these, we weren't in the parks. And I was so mad. Yeah. And they came out with them. So so they had these a while ago. Mm -hmm. And you were able to get them on like eBay, but they're like 60 bucks. Yeah, the resellers will get you. So when we went on our honeymoon trip, we came back. And I, I say like a couple weeks later, not even, we saw this. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> but I have them. All right. So I'm gonna go buy them. We have to go document this purchase. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to wear it? Yes, ma'am. Right. Uh, yes, pass holder. Well, well, well. I might have picked up a friend. How adorbs is he? Hold on, come over here, and you gotta model him for me. We gotta get the we gotta get the full effect here. Oh, 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 figment. You are very much loved. He's just he going, ah! That's, that's how I meant. Aw, kisses for the figment. Well, I can't kiss Momo, so. I know, kisses for the Momo. If you guys follow us, you know that we have a little Chihuahua mix, Momo, and we she's love her to death. Big, but, yeah. but she's being treated um, like a princess at her grandparents right now, so we're not worried about her. Yeah. So. so, where are we going next? Okay, now we're going to the land, a little side side trip that we just did. Well, yeah. We we're going to do the land and we're going to do Soren because that is our favorite, one of our favorites. I was going to say Guardians is our favorite, but we couldn't get on Guardians because... Girl, that's your favorite. No, you like Guardians. No, I was talking about Soren. Oh, I do like Soren. Yeah. Okay, anywho, enough chit chat. Let's get on. I love this building. I hope they never, ever, 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 ever get rid of it. I do see him. We're gonna see him tomorrow. Over there at the Garden Grill restaurant. We have breakfast there tomorrow in the morning as our table service credit. And I am so excited. But this is the land pavilion. Ready, honey? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm super ready. Just saying. So let's go do it. I think, uh, like Chris said, we're gonna get our magnet and then try test track. We'll figure it out. The last time I looked, it was a 25 minute wait. So, which basically means it's like a walk more for test track. So we'll see. And then we are not doing the fireworks because we're tired. So then the plan is to leave after that, but we'll take you guys with us. So since Chris and I have last been here, Epcot finally opened this walkway here that's going to be in between the new Communicore, if you guys can see that. Oh, Chris, look how pretty. So I believe the Communicore is going to be where, it's like an event center. So from time to time, Epcot is gonna host some events there. Um, this is a lot better than going around and twist and turns oh, and man, it was, yeah. it, that's, it's annoying. That's the walls are still up, but not to the same degree. This is really cool. Oh, there she is. The prettiest girl in school. The world's largest golf ball. <laughs> I'm just joking. I think it's beautiful. I think it looks really cool. I want to see that night. I've never been in the park. Wait. Yes, we have. We saw the fireworks here in uh, 2020. That's right. And we saw the ball lit up at night. We did. Oh, Chris, look at all of this this, oh, this cool. look guys it's all open we haven't seen like I said I know other people have seen this before maybe you guys have seen it before but we haven't and this is a big deal Wow this is cool all right guys we're at the creation shop that took no time and we're gonna get our first annual pass magnet there is an own special line for it so yeah, let's go snag it. All right, we got it. Stitch. Heck yeah, finally. I'm gonna, excited. I'm gonna put mine on the fridge. Where are you gonna put yours? On the fridge <laughs> as well. I don't know, I'll find some. I'll on the it. freezer. Well actually, we'll put it in the garage because we're gonna be moving when we get back off this vacation. Yeah, that's so I'll true. I'll put it somewhere in the garage. Okay. Just so y'all can see too, it looks like it's solid, but this couple of these pieces actually, come out here I'll show you so you can see like really what it looks like these are cool yeah sweet awesome all right let's go on test track last ride of the night I think this is a walk on let's see passes for life but you had to drive that car for the rest of your life um yeah driving technology activated welcome to the center mm -hmm. SIM car performance data acquired. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, it never gets old. Oh, that's such a good ride. It's always a good ride. <laughs>
Man, that is always a rush. I feel like it goes faster and faster every time. Yeah. It's insane. That last like drag really like pulls yeah, you back. Yeah, and that turn. Uh, I, I love that ride. That's, love that's like, I don't know, that might be like top five maybe. And in me. June, it is going to be closed for refurbishment. Yep. So, so or reimagined. So, so this we'll is going to be the last time we ride this ride. We got to get some merch. If we don't do it on tomorrow or the rest of the trip, then yeah, this will be yeah. our last time. I wonder, do you think they have some pins? I don't know. You want to go find out? Yeah, we got to get some some test track merch. Yeah. Because this is the last time we're going to ride it before yeah. it closes. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's go check out the gift shop. Oh, by the way, just got to mention, hopefully we get the photo. We got to put it in. It's a good one. Well, if I get it, it'll go in here. Okay. All right, so Chris found two different ones. Yeah, so this one's kind of cool. This one. Okay. Opens it opens up. though, right? Yeah, to see Mickey. Nice, okay. And this one is a pink, so I forget uh, what pink is. And then they got Goofy in there too. Yeah, I like the Goofy one. I think I might get the Goofy one. We'll see okay. if they have some other ones, but I feel like. I feel like we gotta get at least some type of test track memorabilia because okay. it won't be here. And I'm gonna keep it on this. On the card? So maybe one day it'll be worth like a million dollars, huh? Who knows? All right. All right, Chris is gonna go up to the register and he found another one. Um, I think I'm gonna get- anniversary. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. The, the goofy one's nice, but- That one's just classier. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna get this one. Okay, all right. There we go. It's that time of the night. 8.33. Yep. We were gonna stay for the fireworks, but we decided with everything that happened today, we're gonna do that tomorrow. It's just been a long day. Yeah, it's been a really long day. So the plan is now, we're gonna go back to the resort. We're gonna get changed in some swimwear, and we're gonna go hit up the pool for a little bit. So. We probably won't bring the camera. No. Nah. Just because we don't want it to get wet. <laughs> If we don't see you at the pool, we'll see you back in the hotel room to kind of say goodnight. And For a nightcap. Yeah, exactly. A nice little <laughs> nightcap. So there you go. We'll see you soon. And we're finally back in the room, Wonderlanders. It's been an extremely long day. <laughs> Our day started at three in the morning mm. and it is currently 10 30 at night <laughs> and we have just been going 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 but the beauty of disney is it gives you just so much energy so even if you're tired you step on uh on property you're gonna go yeah and i'm really happy how the day turned out and i'm thankful that we're back in the room so we can relax finally I will say the evening turned out way better than the beginning of our day. So oh, yeah, I can't sure. complain. We pretty much dodged the rain because when we were having dinner, it was raining. Yeah, we got pretty lucky. Good. Yeah, we got very lucky. And then when we were finishing dinner, it stopped. So we actually had the sun yeah. for Epcot. So, so can't complain. Uh, we're gonna before we kind of wrap up the day and talk about some of our favorite moments. I just wanted to touch on the Disney dining plan. I know that we said earlier that we were going to dive more into that and we will, we promise, this yeah. is our travel day vlog, we thought we'd be able to kind of put that in, but with kind of how everything was and chaotic, we uh, just decided just kind of not to for today. But we will go into that tomorrow, we're going to be going to the Flower and Garden Festival and kind of enjoying that and that's where we're going to kind of deep dive into the different options that you get with the dining plan. and how that kind of works just so that you guys have a better understanding of what to expect. So stay tuned for next week's vlog because we will be discussing the dining plan then. So enough about uh, the Disney dining plan stuff and whatnot. Uh, let's kind of go into what's, I feel like it's kind of become a bit of a tradition for our mm -hmm. vlog series, um, talking about some of our favorite things. Okay. Uh, now we like to do top three. Um, we feel that it makes it a little bit easier to saying like, you know, what's, what was your favorite thing you ate? What was your favorite ride? Now we didn't do much today, so we may, may not hit all three, but. Um, well, I have one highlight. Well, I at least have one highlight. Go ahead, start it off. And that's getting our annual pass. Oh yeah. <laughs> getting my annual pass, at least for me, is something that I've always wanted to do. And just yeah. having a husband who 
you know, said yes and that's me. <laughs> and collectively decided together that it, it would be fun for us to do and yeah. another excuse to make our vlogs and to continue our channel. So thank you for your support too because if it wasn't for your watch, your sub, your like we really wouldn't have any yeah. purpose of doing this. So thank you guys for I that. feel I feel blessed kind of that we get to kind of do this. Yeah, it's fun. And have fans out there that kind of watch along. Not fans, our Wonderlanders. Wonderlanders, our this is true. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of surreal, you know, yeah. especially me. If you're new to the vlogs, you know that in the past I've always I was never really into Disney. I know I, I bring that up a lot, but mm -hmm. it's it's amazing how it can change someone's perspective yeah. for the better. So, but I'm gonna agree with you. Pass becoming a pass holder, that is awesome. So would that be your highlight too? That is my yeah. highlight for the day. I, yeah. I would say getting that nice yellow card and getting the magnet to kind of solidify that even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool and well all the stuff that we bought too or at least I did actually I bought more stuff today than mm -hmm. you did the annual pass discount does come in clutch you know yeah. it, it helps save a little bit of money so but yeah being an annual pass holder picking that up today top number one experience for today so it's mm -hmm. pretty fun there you go so thank you guys if you stayed to the very very end of our very long travel day thank <laughs> you so much um, please like and subscribe to our channel to see our future vlogs. Once again, we have a couple more days of this trip. Five days total, four nights. So there will be plenty of more information and videos coming. Stay tuned. Join us on this magical journey and let's see what happens next. Bye. Bye. <laughs>